So Horror Night Nightmares put out version 3 of a speculation map for the year 2023. Let's see what changed from version 2 and let's see what's staying and what's going. Let's break it down. So yes, our good friends over at Horror Night Nightmares have released version 3 of both an Orlando and Hollywood Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights speculation map that are always, each and every year, scary accurate. Today we're going to break down uh, version 3 as well as go back to version 2 and see what got scrapped, what is staying, what has changed, and yeah, I'm excited to go through with this. So. Uh, Let's start off right off the bat. The very top right here, top left corner, Stranger Things 4, which last time on version 2 was marked top secret. So, wow. Uh, potential Stranger Things returning to Halloween Horror Nights. Wow. You know, there's a lot of things that I want to see in Stranger Things 4, obviously. In my opinion, Stranger Things 4, probably the best season of Stranger Things of all time because it gave us one of the greatest scenes of all time that ever graced us in the history of cinema, which is Eddie Munson playing Master of Puppets on top of a freaking RV while demo bats are coming flying at him. Chrissy, this is from you. Dustin off to the side kind of being his, his little, uh, what do they call him? Like, uh, what is, I want to—I don't want to use the term "groupy" because I don't think that's what it is. But you know, his little fan. Stranger Things Four could be fun though. I mean, there's a lot to work with with Stranger Things Four with Vecna and everything. That could be a lot of fun to see uh, their version of the Upside Down. This is a very high-quality production that Universal Studios typically pu uh, puts on. So I'm excited to see what they do with if they do bring back Stranger Things Four. That's going to be awesome. That is also located where the weekend was last year. <laughs> in the uh, soundstage 23. So uh, be on the lookout for potential Stranger Things maybe coming back. Number two, in version two it was Exorcist the Believer in the Mummy Q. And now it is being confirmed to be PlayStation's The Last of Us. Guys, I'm telling you, it's real. Why are you so obsessed with this universal legend? You think I'd be used to them by now? Thanks for paying attention, Jordy. Sorry. All right, just skip to exactly 32 seconds in the video Jeez, and I- another conspiracy theory? There's no way to set them apart. Hey, are you guys seeing this? We talked about The Last of Us in another video, uh, but to basically sum it up, we are super excited for The Last of Us to be coming, especially the one based off the game. Such an incredible game, such an incredible story, so I can't wait to see how that looks translated into a maze at Halloween Horror Nights. Very excited for that. Uh, what was in the Killer Clown spot uh, is now looking like it is going to be, uh, originally it was Demon Slayer in version two, now it is The Exorcist, no believer, just The Exorcist. Will we be seeing The Exorcist for a third time in a row at Halloween Horror Nights? My personal opinion, I do not want to see The Exorcist a third time in a row. If it's going to be a repeat of the exact same thing that I saw in 2016 and in 2021, I really have no interest in seeing this. I may even skip it if it's the exact same thing because honestly, 
I've already seen what this maze can do. There's not much you can really change in this maze to change it up at all. Um, I think Murdy did an incredible job doing what he did in 2016 with bringing this to life. Um, especially with how much he's talked about how hard it was to bring to life um, because of the, the setting of the movie. So, uh, me personally, I don't want to see this return. Uh, I've already seen it twice. There was nothing new other than just kind of the layout was different, obviously, because uh, the first year it was in the mummy queue, and in 21 it was inside of a sound stage. So that was really the only difference for me. Uh, but didn't really, didn't really like it a second time around, only because like didn't really, it was nothing new for me. So, uh, but standing right next to that was in version two, Holidays in Hell, and still is Holidays in Hell. Now this is going to be a return. This will be the first time since 2000 in. 19 I believe that we've seen holidays in hell uh, so I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too bad to see holidays in hell again we haven't seen it in a, in a cool minute and I did like in, uh, the soundtrack and everything so I'm excited to see uh, if they add anything new if they add anything uh, extra we we shall see what happens right now here's where it gets a little interesting in version 2 we had that weird looking owl logo and in version three that owl logo is still there which is looking like it's going to be an original maze in the Parisian courtyard I'm excited to see what this is going to be, if it's going to be based off another uh, urban legend or if they're going to do something completely original, like an original story they came up with. Uh, either way, I think that uh, Murdy and the team over at Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood have done uh, phenomenal in their original, so I'm excited to see what that will be this year. My guess, if I had a, if I had a guess, um, I think it's going to be another hi uh, Hispanic uh, folklore. Uh, Specifically, I'm thinking maybe the Chupacabra, but that's just me. We haven't really seen a maze based around the Chupacabra in Hollywood, that is. Um, I know we've done the Boogeyman. I know we've done La Llorona. Um, and I know we've done like a handful of other original stuff. But to my knowledge, since I've been going since 2011, I don't remember them ever doing a Chupacabra maze. But if, if there was, please correct me in the comments. Um, but yeah. What I found interesting in uh, version 2 of the map was they had The Last of Us put in the uh, original Walking Dead location. Now this is interesting. We also made a video about this earlier this year about how uh, Horror Hotel was supposed to be Evil Dead Rise. And due to the conflict of the movie not coming out on time and not being delivered on time, they kind of scrapped Evil Dead Rise and came up with a new original concept to kind of replace that. For anyone who knows the, um, you know, the area, or not, or, or, or the setting of the movie and everything that we saw in the trailers, uh, that was supposed to be Horror Hotel, or that was supposed to be Evil Dead Rise Horror Hotel. Um, so to see that it may be coming back this year, I mean, I, I for one thought Evil Dead Rise was a very strong um, point in the installments of these movies, and I, I, I really was very uh, happy to see where this, this next installment went, and um, I, I, if this comes to Horror Nights, this, I think this will be a fucking great maze. I, I have not seen an Evil Dead maze at Horror Nights since I believe 2017 was Ash vs. Evil Dead, but an actual Evil Dead based off a movie was 2000, and I believe it was like 2012, 2013 when they did the 2000, I think it was 2013 because they did the 2013 remake of Evil Dead, and they brought that. I never got to go through that, but to see hopefully Evil Dead rise at the event, that will be really fucking cool. Uh, it looks like Terror Tram Celebrities is remain the same, whatever that may be as far as the Terror Tram, I have no idea. They could be doing something different where they did last year where they had the whole um, Hollywood Harry section on the uh, Bates Motel and War of the Worlds part, and then they had the whole Jordan Peele section on the Nope section, so could be something similar. We could be something, you know, seeing something more of the Jordan Peele verse, who knows? Maybe Jordan Peele himself is going to ride a Terror Tram. That would be really cool. Uh, let's go back to the Curious George parking lot, and it's looking like we got um, something that's pretty interesting. Now, Universal Monsters Paris has remained there. So my guess with Universal Monsters Paris, and anybody who knows the folklore of, of Paris and the Universal Monstersverse, it's going to be based off the Phantom of the Opera. I'm super stoked for that. I, I, Phantom of the Opera is one of my favorites. Um, and we're talking back uh, the original uh, silent era a film version of the Phantom of the Opera that's that's considered the monster that one was good but don't get me wrong I do love the Broadway show I do love that movie as well where they kind of made it a more love story um, rather than a horror film but uh, it was cool uh, I really hope that 
uh, it does come. I would love to see the Phantom get his own uh, spotlight. He deserves it. And I don't think we've seen the Phantom since 2018 when they first debuted Universal Monsters. He had a quick little section playing the piano. It was awesome. It was perfect. We have not seen the Phantom since. I hope the Phantom comes back pissed off and ready to take over that part. Now this is a good one. This is a this is an interesting one, and and it only makes sense why they mix them because it is two uh, two dolls essentially. In the speculation map of number two, we had just Chucky right there. Now we can confirm Chucky will be at the event this year. However, there is supposed to be something to do with Megan there, and it says Megan roaming whore now. This could be one of two things. This could be a, a, a two-part, like, maze. Or they could literally be potentially having a Megan Scare Zone out front of the, of the Chucky area. My only issue with that is there's not enough room to have really, like, a Scare Zone back there. So I would like to see it potentially part of a second half of the Chucky house is, is like Megan kind of like the another dog. I don't know. That one kind of confused me when I saw it, but I don't know. This could be something that they have maybe along the walkway as you're walking towards the back area of those two mazes. Maybe they're making that kind of like the new toxic tunnel, but they're just kind of theming it and they're just going to have a bunch of Megans running around everywhere. If so, that's going to be very fucking creepy. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure about that. I, I'm going to assume it's probably a scare zone. Maybe it's going to be one of the scare zones for this year. Um, but I do see that all the scare zones on this map do say unknown. So that is something that's uh, that is something that is interesting. Another thing to take note is that uh, Death Eaters has stayed on this map. And the show at Waterworld has stayed on this map. So are we going to be getting a brand new show at Waterworld? Or are they just going to put the Jab Walkies on that stage? Personally, I would love a new show. Um, I'm hoping they go down that route instead of putting the jab walkies on that stage, but that's just my personal opinion. But what are your guys' thoughts on HN Nightmare's latest speculation map? I think there's a lot of good stuff here, a lot of things added. This is aiming to look like a very solid year if all this is true. Um, remember, this is all speculation, uh, so take this all with a grain of salt. Um, we know that HN Nightmares has been accurate in the past uh, with their speculation so um nothing's official until universal themselves finally announce it so far that the ones that are official chucky and the last of us are coming to the event this year uh but only time will tell we i know that john murdy said he's going to be dropping an announcement at midsummer scream that weekend at the panel so i'm excited for that we're going to be there we'll be covering that for you guys so stay tuned for that but other than that, uh, I'm looking forward to this year. It's looking like a very solid year, and I cannot wait to get back there and get scared. What are you guys' thoughts of the uh, HN Nightmare Speculation Map Volume 3? Leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to read you guys' comments and see what you guys think about the event. Other than that, go ahead and follow us uh, here on YouTube. Just hit that subscribe button with the bell because you'll be aware every time we put up a new video. And leave some comments down below what you thought about our content so we can keep improving our content for you guys. Hit that like button because uh, it really helps us hit a lot here on the channel. Follow us on our social medias at the Knights of Horror pretty much all across the board uh, except for Twitter. So Knights of Horror at the Knights of Horror on TikTok, Instagram, Thread, um, and then at Knights of Horror on Twitter and Knights of Horror Gaming on Kick where we stream every Tuesdays and Thursdays. So yeah, come join us. With all that being said, I'm your host, Anthony. You're watching the Knights of Horror, and I will see you guys real soon.